Hello, welcome in this another SAP tutorial of ERP SAP team. This tutorial is for your understanding and the training purpose. And our objective of this SAP tutorial is how to check the open purchase order against any WBS R project. So many times we have created the project and the WBS and again in this project or the WBS we have taken the external services from the vendors we have created the purchase order uh, with using account assignment as a WBS we have again processed the service entry sheet and again process the Miro for the vendor payment so sometime we are unable to identify that if the uh, Migo is done or not, Migo is not done and uh, Miro is done or not, Miro is not done. So how to check these things in SAP? So we have a SAP transaction code ME2J, okay. Uh, fill the WBS, fill WBS, we have a WBS number and uh, Layout, you need to choose ALV in place of the best. Best nahi lena aapko. So don't take the best, okay? And uh, do not take this best, okay? And uh, here we have option that is still to be delivered still to be delivered and still to be invoiced still to be invoiced we have these two options in this sap transaction code uh, by seeing these column still to be delivered and still to be invoiced we have an idea about our po quantity is open or there is a invoicing pending against these WBS so for those WBS we are doing completing first that job then we are going to process the completion projects okay so how to execute this transaction code uh, we will we are going to check this okay so we are going to execute the transaction code ME2Z, ME2Z, okay. Select the database profile from drop down, okay. Here we have option like that, okay. So we are going to copy our WBS number is this, okay. We are going to copy the WBS number is this, okay, here. You can also copy the project number. If you have multiple network number, you can copy here. And level I have chosen level 2 to 99 because uh, the level 1 is indicated the project level 2 indicated the WBS number and here we have three options like purchase order contract schedule agreement so I am focusing only on the purchase order number so this is the purchase order number uh, scope of list not the layout here scope of list is there uh, scope of list is there sorry for that scope of list is ALV why we are not taking the best we will discuss later on uh, ALV okay and uh, we are trying to get the data in this format okay so once we execute this transaction code system will generate the data of the purchase order okay see uh, this is the these are the purchase order numbers. These are the WBS element. These are the purchase order created against the network assignment. Okay. So uh, these are the document date. These are the vendor supplying plant. Okay. These are the short text. These are the material group. Okay. And uh, see, uh, our main objective is to. Uh, to be delivered and still to be invoiced. See, if we are uh, selecting this column and apply the descending order, 
then C. This is the purchase order. Uh, this purchase order is still to be delivered for these amount. Okay, for this amount, eight four one zero three two two one. So you can you can check this data uh, as per the record. Okay, you can check this data as per your record. Okay, this is the vendor code. Okay. And here I am selecting this column is still to be invoiced. Okay, and uh, see, these are the purchase order one, two, three, for which good receipt has been done, but still not invoiced. Invoice verification is pending. Miro is pending. So we are unable to close such project. Either we have to reverse the good receipt, either we have to short close this purchase order, then we are going to try to close the WPS. Okay. So this is the way how can you check this out. The second thing we are going to discuss how we have not taking the scope of list is best. Now the second option is we are trying to get the scope of list best. Again, this filter criteria for the WBS is 2 to 99 uh, focus on the only purchase order trying to get the data as per the best scope of list see this is the way how we are not unable to identify this data in the best scope of list still to be delivered zero still to be invoice zero so no pendency in this purchase order so here if we extract this data in Excel, then we have lots of problem. So better to get the data as per the scope of list. Hope you understand. So hope you understand why uh, what we have discussed in this SAP tutorial. Our objective was how to check open purchase order against any WBS, how to check if there is any invoicing is pending against any WBS that we have a real plan in this project. So we have we have checked using this transaction code ME 2 j Okay. So this tutorial is for just understanding and the training purpose. And please share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues who is working in the field units, planning units and project system units. Okay, for knowledge sharing process, because once you share the knowledge, it is very important for any organization. Okay, because people do not know how to execute the transaction code. What is the logics behind this transaction code? How to correlate the data which is available in any report? Okay, hope you understand. So knowledge sharing is very important. Knowledge sharing is gearing. Okay. And again, it's I'm requesting you to all of you. If you are new in our YouTube channel, ERP SAP team, please subscribe our YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon for our latest SAP video tutorial updates. Okay. And if you have any query in your mind, if you if you want to do any suggestion, please mention in the comment section and also reach us at erpsapteam1 at the red gmail.com. We are creating the SAP tutorial for just understanding and knowledge sharing purpose. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next tutorial.